Hello, 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 and welcome to Teach Me Tuesday. I want to thank you guys so much for chiming in with me. Hello, I got a first shout out, Cat the Course Builder. I want to say thank you so much for this amazing opportunity to come through and chat with the community this Teach Me Tuesday. So, if this is your first time tuning in with me on Teach Me Tuesday, my name is Takiya Diamond. I am a personal development author, speaker, coach, and trainer. I also assist with spiritual development as well as financial planning. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so today, though, what I want to talk about for you guys, I want to keep it on the spiritual realm because we all know that everything kind of le links back to the spiritual realm, no matter what it is that we're embarking on in our lives and in our past, whether it's relationships, whether it's our businesses, whether it's our families, it all links back to something kind of crazy that's going on inside of us, right? And so what I want to do is just take this time out to chat with you so that you can actually understand the difference between your ego and your soul so that you can have the wisdom that you need to notice when your internal system is trying to tell you something, right? Because a lot of times we don't like to listen to that voice. We feel like, oh my God, you know, right? But the good thing about it is that that voice that's telling you something wrong is leading you in the right direction. And that voice that's telling you something right is also leading you in the right direction. They meet with each other, but you got to be able to identify with that. So in order for you to have a successful business, and to have a successful life, you got to be able to tell the difference between when your ego is playing on your intelligence and when your soul is trying to come in and redirect you, okay? And so that's what we're going to chat about tonight real quick, all right? So one of my biggest aha moments was actually realizing the difference between the soul and the ego, okay? And it took it took a little minute um, to understand it, but but not really. It was more like... It was something that was necessary for me to understand in order for me to propel myself forward and become successful in all these different areas of my life. And so it was like, I wanted to know, like, what, what is all of this about, right? <laughs> and I'm sure you want to know too. You've been hearing things about ascension and people awakening and, you know, all of these different things that are beginning to change in your life. You're feeling different energies. You're feeling um, different feelings about people, places, and things that you used to entertain that you don't got time to be entertaining no more right and this is because your soul is pushing through your soul is pushing through and this is the reason why you did your ego is losing its power it's losing its power and since it's losing its power you know um to a certain extent you know I, I can't get too deep into this guys follow me i'll be able to tell you a whole lot more going youtube or whatever so that you can really really understand this but y'all know only got seven minutes so let me just throw this guys throw this at you but in order for you let it allow, not really throw it at you, it's really to trigger you. I want to trigger you to go deeper so that you could get a, a bit more clarity on the difference and why you need to know the difference between your ego and your soul and how it, it does affect your life, okay? And so, let's hop right into this. So the first thing um, we're going to chat about is let's talk about your ego, okay? Because your ego is pretending to be you and you don't even know, okay? <laughs> All right, so here's a way to identify whether you are being kind of played out, um, played on, played out, played on, uh, you know, whatever the case might be by your ego. So one of the first things that you will notice, like when your ego is in control and when it's taking the steering wheel and you're on the back burner instead of having your soul be the driver of your life is your ego is the image that you have of yourself. Okay. So if you have this image of yourself that you know, oh, well, you know, maybe I'm not that beautiful or maybe I'm not that talented or maybe I'm not that um, gifted or, oh, I know what I know, but maybe I don't know enough. And, you know, all of that other cuckoo, cuckoo berry stuff that takes us out of alignment of who we really are and actually kind of walks us out and talks us out of our dreams, of our destiny and things like that. That's your ego, right? That's your ego. Um, another way to identify your ego is it's it's like your social media mask it's that face that you put on for the world you know even like me right now there's a face i put on for the world because guys if y'all saw my hair okay <laughs> before this <laughs> 
I'm just saying, right? But we know that would be because what? Ego feels like, oh, you know what? I can't present myself with my hair all crazy or whatever the case might be, but that's ego. However, of course, self-love, you do want to make sure that you look good, right? All right, cool. So we, we're going to get past that, all right? Another way that you identify um, your ego is your titles, the roles. Like, that's the ego uh, that I'm... A doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm a coach, I'm a I'm a, a nurse, I'm a sister, I'm a mother, I'm a that is titles and roles. Okay, so once the ego kind of like takes on this role and this title, it, it begins to act out that title and that role, and it starts to believe that it is that title and that role, and it tries to act out that title and that role you understand when it comes to your soul we're gonna get into it because i'm not gonna tell you that right now because we're about to get into it but you know when it comes to um your soul like none of, none of the titles and all that stuff it doesn't matter and i'm and i'm gonna share that with you as we go go forth okay so another way that well first of all that's to show you what your ego is all right so the first thing was to show you your ego that it's the image that you have of yourself it's the social mass that you put on for the world and it's also your titles that you have so that's that's your ego okay and so you can learn to spot your ego right when your ego is in charge when it's running the show that's what i want to show you tonight so if you catch yourself in your mind, you run around these circles and circles with this same thought over and over and over and over. It's like a merry-go-round of this same thought, this same situation. This thing over and over. It could have been five years ago, but you just keep replaying, pushing, play, press and play. Because you done recorded the story enough. You probably don't even got to press play no more. It just plays on its own because you play it so much in your head, right? So that's a way for you to, to identify that that is your ego because the ego is going to keep running the stories to keep you stuck, okay? All right, so the, another, the next thing, um, how you can spot your ego and recognize when your ego is in charge is if you are consumed by your emotions, okay? So especially if you feel hurt, especially if you're feeling depressed, you feel down, you feel... Uh, disappointment, you feel angry, you you know, all of these different things. If you're consumed by now, I'm not saying that you're not supposed to experience these emotions because you are supposed to experience these emotions because they're talking to you. They're teaching you something. There's something going on in your body because there's something going on around you that's making you feel a certain kind of way and it's all energy, you know what I mean? Which, like I said, guys, I, I, I can't go too deep on this, but you know, just to kind of got, give you guys like the basics, but you know, you are consumed by it. That's what I'm talking, I'm talking about, like really being consumed by your emotions and anger and sad, like you just mad all the time, or you always just judging people all the time, or you always just disappointed all the time. Like nobody could do anything good enough for you because it's like, it's not good enough for whatever reason, which usually links back to childhood trauma and behaviors and things like that. Okay. All right. The next way that you can learn how to see when your, your ego is in charge running the show is your inner dialogue. Your inner dialogue is heavily focused on your anxieties, your fears, your doubts, your self-criticism. I can't do this. I don't have the money to do this. Maybe you don't. But maybe if you ask it how yourself, how can I, instead of saying I don't have, then the ideas and the things that you need to come to you to show you how to get that will show up for you. You know what I mean? See, that's why it's good to have a coach in your life that can show you this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, your inner dialogue. You know, I'm not good enough. I'm not beautiful enough. Um, I can't do this. Um, I feel stuck. Um, I'm bad at this. Uh, my life doesn't mean anything or whatever the case might be, right? So those type of things, your inner dialogue, your inner saboteur, that is how you have to, that is your ego speaking. That's how you put it on the spot, right? Okay. Um, the next one would be when you feel like your worth is dependent upon external things. Okay. So whether you feel like your worth is valued by, do you have a mortgage? Do you have a house? Do you have a car? Do you have a wife? Do you have a husband? Do you have a good job? Do you have a nice wardrobe? Do you have a lot of friends? You know, this type of stuff. The, your, your, if your worth is dependent so much 
on outside things that is not your true self your true self knows that you are enough you are already whole and you are already complete okay i'm jumping the gun all right the next thing would be if you need validation okay if you desperately need validation from other people to feel good about yourself meaning that if somebody doesn't tell you you know that you look nice today or that somebody doesn't tell you oh i love you today or whatever the case might be it's like you go into this frantic thing where you feel like oh maybe this person doesn't want me anymore or maybe my boss doesn't like me or maybe my client doesn't like me anymore or doesn't want to work with me anymore like you just got all of this chitter chatter like stuff going on right so when your worth i mean when you are um seeking validation from other people to feel good about yourself that is your ego because you should never need an outside person to make you feel validated you should already feel validated and because you feel validated as a result people show up to confirm that you are on the right track or you're in the right direction okay but you should not need that all right now also another thing would be like if your your feelings are easily hurt like when when people when things don't go your way or when people disappoint you or they say that they can't make it and um stuff like that and you just get all disarrayed and dismantled or you get offended because they're not listening to you or people don't act the way that you want them to you feel like they let you down or they say things to offend you that is also your ego because it's all on how you take it okay it's all on how you take what has been said you could look at it from a different perspective and be like oh okay i understand i maybe i didn't see that about myself before right or you could be like oh what you mean blah, 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 blah. And you could start going crazy on somebody and, and talking all out your head and that's not even you it's actually your ego that's acting out right okay um so one thing you got to understand is that your ego is something that you have to live with, right? But you don't have to listen to your ego and you don't have to believe every single thing that your, your ego has to say, okay? So yes, it's there. It exists, okay? But if you got all of these things going on where you're feeling desperately, like you're in this desperate need for validation from other people, that is your ego. You validate you. And as a result, you become validated by other people. But outside should not validate who you are inside. And try not to take your ego so seriously. Like when you identify, you know, these little things starting to happen and you're recognizing like, ah, that's my ego talking, you know, things like that. You got to realize that your ego is not the real you. Okay, so being that the ego is not the real you, you can point it out. You can call it out. And two, here's two things that you could do. If you're a nice person like me, <laughs> I usually say, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. That's how you could kind of like quiet it up or kind of like take your power back. You know what I mean? Because it's going to run. It's going to try to control. It's been taught to do that. All right. Cool, cool, cool. That's a whole nother live. All right. But try not to take it too seriously because it's not the real you. Okay. And if you hear or you start to notice your ego barking up the wrong part of the tree or whatever the case may be. Like I said, you could say, thank you for sharing. But if you're a person who not be, you could be like, ah, okay. All right, you go. Nice try. Not this time. Okay? <laughs> you know, so it's up to you how you decide to shut it down. You know what I mean? Just not even really shut it down, but more so to let it know that you're on to it, playing within you. Okay, guys, this goes, this goes so much deeper. I, I wish I could give you guys so much more. But real quick, now I'm going to go into what your soul is so you can understand that. And then I'm going to give you a few examples of how to identify when your soul is moving. Okay, or it is in charge. All right? So your soul is your spirit essence. Your soul is your true self, okay? It knows. Your soul, it knows, okay? Your soul is who you really are deep down, beneath all of the labels, the titles, the sister, brother, doctor, uncle, whatever the case might be, okay? That's who your soul is. It, it's, it's not interested in labels and titles. It just is, okay? Um... um your soul, oh, I know I was about to say. Okay, your soul, it doesn't change. Okay, so your soul is something that 
It does not alter. You were born you. You will always be you. And there's nothing that you can do about it. So that, that, that is your, your true soul is who you really are. Your true essence. Okay. And you must understand that you are divine energy. Okay. So being that you are divine energy from the universe, right? Your very existence in this world is what makes you beautiful. It's what make it's, it's what makes you valuable. It's what makes you important. It's what makes you amazing, okay? Just being here and being a part of this, this journey and this human experience, all right? And so how can you learn to spot your soul when your soul is in charge, all right? So I'm going to give you these real quick. All right, so uh, one of the first things that everybody should know when your soul is running the show is that you your intuition kicks in. All right, so you get this gut feeling, you get these this 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 um inner voice which actually guides you, right? And it's kind of telling you like, mm, maybe not. And then it's like, mm, yeah, that's it, that's the one. Go ahead, do that, right? Okay, so that that's your soul. All right, um, when you realize that you deeply and completely love and accept yourself unconditionally, regardless to any experiences that you may have had in the human experience, right? Because you can't get away from the experience. You're here, you're on earth, you got to deal with it, right? But you realize that you love yourself deeply and completely no matter what, okay? Um, and the next thing would be is you have burning desires and you have goals and all those wonderful things. But the thing is, is that your sense of self-worth your sense of self-worth and happiness is not dependent upon that, okay? So as long as your self-worth is not dependent upon that, then that will be your soul. But the moment that your self-worth is dependent on those outside things like we talked about before, that would be the ego, okay? Um, the next thing would be, um, oh, when you have that burning desire, it bubbles up from inside of you, right? So it's not like no external thing that kind of happens and you go to an event and now you're all excited. It's no, it's that time when you're sitting down at your desk typing and all of a sudden, whoosh, the idea comes in. That's it, right? Okay, so that's your soul. Um, also, when everything feels effortless, right? When it feels like the universe is just gently nudging you the way to go like you're not feeling like you have to fight for it it's like all of the right people places things and time is happening at the right time in the right time and all of that other wonderful stuff right all right all the right um circumstances everything unfolds in perfect timing okay and so that's when you know it's your soul um also you feel free you know you feel empowered to go after you, your dreams you feel like nothing can stop you you feel like nothing could get in your way and nothing can get in your way when you're operating from the soul because there is nothing to get in the way okay <laughs> all right um the next thing would be is that you understand your purpose in life you understand that your purpose in life is to follow your dharma to follow your path to follow your you know, what your calling is for your life, right? What is your heart song, you know? What is it that gives you that unique gift that, I mean, or what is that unique gift that you have to give to the world, right? What is that, okay? So that would be your soul in operation, okay? So your soul is basically like the it's always present. Just like your ego is always around, you know, your soul is always, always around. But the ego tries to fight the voice of the soul, okay? So that's why I'm pointing this out to you. So you can know because as we're going along in our businesses and everything like that and we're building wealth and we're being granted all of these wonderful things, we do need to understand which voice we're hearing so we know how to make the right decisions, right? All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, all right? So just understand that your ego cannot be harmed, okay? Your ego cannot be harmed by other people. It cannot, I mean, not your ego, I'm sorry. Your soul, your soul cannot be harmed, okay? Your soul cannot be harmed. Your soul is a source of unconditional love. Your soul is a source of courage. Your soul is a source of strength of wisdom, of happiness, of joy, that is your soul, okay? And let's make no mistake, it's, it's challenging 
to not get drawn in by the ego because it's, it likes to speak louder, right? <laughs> it has that, no, right? It has that, that type of voice, right? But the thing is, is that you have to choose to be led by your soul, okay? Be, choose to be led by your soul. Even if you manage to tap into your soul for just, it, not even your soul, but, you know, just the energy, the deeper part of who you are for just a few minutes a day, you're going to begin seeing a difference in your life. Like, a thousand times different than what you were looking at before, okay? You're going to be start to identify all of the, the, what's, what has been keeping you in a positive direction, what has been keeping you in a negative direction, or whether the message that you're getting is coming from the ego or whether the message that you're getting is coming from your soul, all right? And this is basically because even just a teaspoon of love, we know love conquers all, right? So even just a teaspoon of love, just a teaspoon of wisdom, them, just a teaspoon of courage coming from your soul is 10 billion times more powerful than the negative message that's coming from your ego. So remember that and just pay attention to that. So I hope this, I'm done guys, I'm wrapping it up. And so I hope this Teach Me Tuesday was very informational for you. Um, listen, if there's any way that I can help you, inbox me let me know that this is the video that you saw i have several books out that will teach you about you know your ego and i have several free videos that are available on youtube where you can learn a whole lot more about yourself your soul your spirit your business your money you know your, your personal growth so much you know what i mean and i want to share it with you 2020 so join me i'm here if you need help help when how they say when the student is ready the teacher appears and here i am I love you, and thank you again. Kat, you are the boss lady. I love you to death, and you already know. Have an amazing day. Thank you, guys, and have a wonderful Teach Me Tuesday. Go back and watch everybody's video. This is...